Revelation chapter 21 verse 24. Go ahead. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. So you nations are going to be preserved. Y'all going to be preserved to be service to the Israelites. Go ahead. And the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. The Lord said the kings of the earth. Yo, yo, thirsty man, come on. Thirsty, yeah. Yo, come on, yo, 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 yo come on, man. Right, go ahead. And the gates of the earth shall not be shut. And all my day, for there shall be no light there. He wants some king in cherry And they shall bring the glory. Yo, 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 come on, come on. Come on. Step back. Yo, yo, come on. Step back. Come on, come on, come on, man. Come on, come on. Step back. Get out of my face. Come on, come on. Step back. Moab, please don't do it to yourself, man. Don't do it to yourself. Come on, Moab, don't do it to yourself, man. Don't do it to yourself, Moab. <laughs> All right, yeah, but you preach Jesus, yeah. But you don't know Jesus. Preach Jesus Jesus is a black man. Jesus, guys, see that? See your, see that? See your racism? Right, come on, brother, read. See your racism? That's racism right there. The man got mad. The man got mad. He got mad. Right? Go ahead, read. Verse, 20, verse 26, and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it, and there shall be no wise into, into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Go ahead. But that's it on that. Right, so the Lord said the nations which are saved. I'm gonna oh, yeah, I'll take that sound Even damn, even Jake is like <laughs> Yeah man, get out of here, man. Right, but anyway, let's continue with the word. Right, anyway. Yeah, let's continue with the word, man. But anyway, any any last minute questions or comments, brothers? Right, anything y'all wanna bring out? I see the letter, no? Right. But anyway, let's continue with the word. Um, anybody got a piece up or anything? Yo, man, that's how it's going down. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's going down. <laughs> and tell yeah. you that the nation's going to cleave in these last days. Actually, was ready to serve, huh? Right? Yeah, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? They're going to cleave. <laughs> right, go ahead. The book of Ezra, chapter 4, verse 2. Then they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them, let us build with you, for we seek your power as ye do. See that it said, the nation came and said, let us build with you. When Ezra was uh, uh, rebuilding the temple, they wanted to come and build with Ezra. They wanted to be down with us. Go ahead. As ye do. Go ahead. And we do sacrifice unto him since the days of Esau Hadan, king of Esau, which brought us up hither. But Zerubbabel and Jeshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel said unto them, Ye have nothing to do with us. You have nothing to do with us, man. You heathens ain't got nothing to do with us. But you know, you clean, you 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 get you can get ready for your servitude, right? But you have nothing to do with us. Come on. To build a house unto our power. Right, we're building a nation of Israel right now. So our time now is just to tell these heathens their place and where they're gonna go in captivity. Right, come on. But we ourselves together will build unto the most high our power. We ourselves together will build unto the most high our power. We will build to the Lord. Go ahead. As King Cyrus, the king of Persia, has commanded us. Like King Cyrus gave Israel, uh, they allocated uh, Israel certain freedoms to build a temple with God. Right, so this ain't no time to get together with no heathens, man. Israel is trying to build back our nation and us. But these heathens, they're going to cleave and they just going to know their place. That's all. Are you serious? They're just going to know their place. All right, so any more questions or comments? All right, so we're glad that Trump, Trump declared war on Iran. Well, not declared war, but you know, he gave him an ultimatum. 60, 60 days. day notice. You know, and hopefully this turns up, man. Hopefully we, know, we going to, uh, hopefully we can go into 2018 with some wrath and destruction. Right? If it be the most I will. Go into 2018 with some wrath and destruction. Say something for me. Yeah, so hopefully 2018 comes. Hopefully 2018 comes. 
when we can, we can see wrath and destruction, and we, can, you know, this, this, this thing's gonna come to a head. And believe it or not, everybody like, oh, we impeach Donald Trump, but thing of it is, Donald Trump is just the type of president we need to get this thing going. Because the, the sooner World War Three does break out, and the sooner the nuclear missiles come. The sooner we, the nation of Israel, can get the hell up out of here. Um, because America never meant us any good any damn way. Because this country was built off the blood, sweat, and tears of our people. So, and I don't know why people want to try to hold on to America. Because in all actuality, really, what are you holding on to? Yeah, the so-called white man knows that his kingdom is falling, and like the brother said earlier, that's why all of a sudden they want to grab a gun and go to a public place. That's why they shooting up schools and churches, congressional races, baseball games, uh, country music fairs, and other events. Now, you might go to a fake Hill and Tim McGraw concert, and damn, Esau whoop out his whoop, Esau whoop out his shotgun or a Desert Eagle and just start letting <laughs> off. Read the Book of Revelation, chapter eighteen, and verse four. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, "Come out of her, my people." Right. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, "Come out of her, my people." In other words, that's for us, the nation of Israel, to come out of America, God. to lead to leave America that alone spiritually anyway it's not time for us to leave physically just yet so all these facebook israelites with that flee america doctrine you get the hell on it ain't time for us to leave just yet read that ye be not partakers of her sin that we be not partakers of her sin so we gotta come out of america and not partake in america's sins read and that ye receive not of her plagues and that we receive not of her plagues so we we gotta leave america so we don't partake of her sins and we don't receive of america's plagues so that when them nuclear missiles come we can go up in the chariots and not have to stay here and get burned with the rest of america Con. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not the Zion. Right. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not the Zion. And the 12 tribes of Israel, we are the ones that are the undesired nation. Everybody, everybody hates us. We, the, we stuck at the bottom, at the end of the totem pole. We stuck in the bottom of the barrel. Hey, no, nobody likes a Negro or Hispanic. And the brother said that, oh, the people here are too dirty. Truly. They, they, they talking about us all the time. Everybody got some type of byword for us. But them, but, but them damn Africans, them damn Kenyans wanted to cleave so badly. Uh, yeah. But right now, because people see, because nobody sees any power with us, we get called all types of bywords and proverbs. Read. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass at the chair, before the fierce anger of the Most High come upon you. Right. Before the fierce anger of the Most High comes upon us. Continue. Before the day of the Most High's anger come upon you, seek ye the Lord. O oh, you meek of the earth, which have what? His judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may, sloppy. It may be, he shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Right, so we gotta come together as God's chosen people so that we don't draw the anger and that we don't draw the wrath of the Lord when America gets destroyed. Because America is gonna be destroyed one day. It's, it's, it's well past time. It's well past time for them nuclear. It's well past time for them nuclear missiles to come, and they will come. Amos nine and eight. Read. Whoever got it, read it. 
it's, it's well past time for the nuclear missiles to come. And Donald Trump is expediting the process. Read. The book of Amos, chapter 9, and verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, the most high power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the most high. Now the Lord is not going to utterly destroy us, but if we, if we don't want to be destroyed when that day comes, here's what we have to do. And we will close it out with this. Ecclesiastes 12, 13. This is what we have to do if we want to be caught up in them chariots when that day comes. We have a mission and we have an obligation that we have to be read. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. That's it. Fear the Lord and keep his commandments uh -huh. so that we may be saved in that day. That being said, death and destruction to the white men and the other nations, peace, safety, power, and glory to the 12 tribes of Israel. Tomorrow will be a 42nd and 7th the tribes of Reuters. Power and glory to Israel, death and destruction to the white men and the other nations. Shalom. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh.